Hey guys, this is Hira Babu and you are watching Programming Shift on YouTube. So in this lecture, we will learn uh, about thread pool. So what is the thread pool? Let me tell you. A thread pool uh, denotes that we have a, a set of or group of thread uh, that will uh, take care of your job, right? So let's understand we have a group uh, fixed size of thread uh, that we have created, uh, right? Uh, a, a fixed size like 5 or 10 you can write, right? or as as number as you want in the group so we have a fixed size of thread uh, that is created that is known as as a group uh, thread group you can say a thread from the thread pool is pulled out and allocated a job by service provider let's see we have a service provider that will take care of uh, our uh, threads and uh, the group you can say so if the service provider need uh, need a uh, uh, thread to allocate a job so it will go to the thread pool and it will pull a thread and it will allocate the job when the job is finished he will uh, he will uh, leave the leave the thread into the pool right so whenever he needs again a job he will go to the thread pool, thread pool and ask again to complete the job right so this is like a thread is in the container zone and he wants to uh, get the job done and when the job is done he is going to give to the pool right so this is a very good uh, concept uh, what is the motto right so f first you have to understand what is the motto of thread group or you can say thread pool right so it is uh, it is used for the better performance of our application so it pro it protects times uh, it gives a, a uh, less time and it will give you a better performance since there is no need to create new thread we are not going to create a, a thread so the cost of creating a thread becomes uh, less and uh, the service provider will get better performance for that hmm? so application that you are using or the customer will use that gives you better performance so we are going to use a thread pool so let's understand if you are already aware uh, like servlet on jsp if you don't know you can understand in this uh, advanced java so like if you are using servlet and jsp where the container creates a thread pool to cre uh, to create the process or to under uh, to get the process request right so a servlet or jsp is the best example uh, in the java that you can understand the thread pool ki how the http request is processed through the pool right so let's understand a very simple program that i am going to take care of now what i am going to write a very simple program that is let's see i am going to write my own thread right i am giving a class name my own thread right and i giving here let's see uh, let me expand this one okay so what is there we have a very simple uh, method is there uh, sorry uh, class is there that will extend you can extend or you can implement so in, the, in the last lecture we have implemented uh, extended so now we are going to implement right implements a runnable interface right so you can pass runnable you can see here runnable interface we have given so when we are giving the runnable interface let me remove this one from here let me do one more thing what i can do we can create a class my thread okay that will implement that will give a better idea because this is the main thread so what we can do we can write here the code and we can pass this one okay so that's okay see why this is the problem so we are going to implement this method right so what we will do just implement you will get the you will remove the console message or uh, error message from there right so now see we have we have a very simple meta class that is implementing the runnable interface and now we are going to override the run method of runnable interface okay that is very simple now what we can do we can write a private uh, very simple message we can write right very simple we have a, uh, a string type right sorry 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 i am writing here what we can do so we have a, a message as an attribute of the thread class so what we can do we can create a constructor here okay 
So how we will do? As we know, we have to right click here. We have to go to Accept Source. Then we have Constructive Using Field. Then select all generate it. So now we have created already. So what we can do? Remove super that is not required. You can write here that is not the problem. So let's see if we have a, a constructor also and the run method is also here. Okay. So now when we write a cons let's let me create a console message here. So when the run method will start, we will get a uh, we, we want to print the message of thread class, right? Part thread is there. So let's see we have a thread dot current thread we can pass. We can pass current thread dot get name right so if you pass the get name so you will print the name of the thread here hmm? that is very simple and you can also pass key uh, which type of uh, start is there right so let me go here and we can write start we can give as a information you can pass and now what you can write here you can pass msg message you can pass equal to what what is the message there that you can pass here okay so how we will do that you have to just ensure that the value is exactly same as we are passing right so let me add into double quotes so the same thing will be here start method plus we can pass msg hmm? that is very simple thing is here so now you can see the run method what will print it will print the thread and the message that we are passing here okay so let's understand a very simple thing if the user want to print the process or if he want to interrupt anything hmm. so what he can do he can write uh, he can in interrupt the thread here using the sleep method or he, he can uh, he cannot do that right so whatever you want let's see i have a print method is here print me print uh, method is here print msg i'm giving hmm. you can give any name as you want so i have just created public void this one it should come so let's see key as we have a uh, thread thread dot sleep method should be here sleep pass the method 2000 so now you can do what you can do you either you can try catch or throw exception both you can do so i am passing throw exception so when the throw exception no leave you you can you can do that but i have to also throw in the runnable in, uh, in the run right so I'm, i don't want to do that so let's see we have we have what we have did we have surrounding the try catch the sleep method okay so we just what we did we have interrupted uh, the thread for two seconds and now we want to print the message right so let's see we are printing the console here what we can what we can write we can pass the same thing that we have written here we want to print the mess uh, thread method uh, sorry thread name and also want to know key uh, which type of thing we are doing right so now what we are pa passing and we are passing the end name uh, you can pass the end name whatever you want and uh, you can give the message right so which thread is uh, going to stop you can give the message so as you know i have created a very simple method is here so the main thing what we have to do we have to do here let's see if we have created a you know executor so we have a execute service right so here we have a concurrent concurrency see executor that provides a method to manage termination and methods then can process pros, procedure of a future for tracking the process or one so executor is just a service that will track everything hmm. let's see executor object we are going to create equal to what we have to write just we have to write the executors okay so i am passing the name executors dot what do you have to pass you have to call new new fixed thread pool right we need fixed thread pool right so which which type of pool you need 
we need three a uh, fixed thread pool and how, how how many we want i want five five thread we need in this pool right so what will happen we have the executor that will uh, take care of all the things right so if you don't know you just have to if you want to understand the thing you have to go here understand right so what he will do and what is doing he he is given the message how it is working on when it will work right so he is saying that uh, procedure is provide the method to terminate and every process it, it is tracking right so it is used to track the thread which thread is in the pool and which thread is working and which thread is not working let's type up you can say uh, manager you can say right so manager is tracking so this is like a manager so now we have for loop is here now i want to print the things how it is working so let me create a for loop first i plus plus what i am going to keep here just you have to pass the renewable right as you know why we are giving the renewable we have a worker thread okay you can pass the this is the worker thread equal to new you can pass my renewable right my thread we are giving and you can pass anything that you want to just i am going, going to give masses here let's see what we will see we have executor now i am going to execute the thread from the thread pool just we have to create execute method is there so whatever you have worker thread give the worker thread as a parameter what will happen the manager will understand which thread is going to execute right so because we need to understand which thread is working and which thread is not working so if executor like if if, if we have executor wants to shut down right so he can shut down the service rights let's see he, he has uh shut down the shut down the uh, tracking record and now if thread is uh, not working yeah you can say thread is in terminated mode so what will happen let's see we have a while loop and thread is not ex executing so what we have to write executor dot is terminator if we are going to pass is terminator just what will happen you have to write the message whatever you want to do right if it is not terminated whatever you would want, want to print that just print that and if it is uh, terminated you have to give the thread all the thread is finished all the thread life cycle you can pass completed or finished okay so now you have a better understanding that our thread is done right let me run the program and you will understand the what i have did till now so see here what we have did till now we have did we have just passed a thread in the, from the pool the thread one two three four five right and it is started so 0 1 2 3 4 5 is there and now what is happening so thread 3 and 5 is ended now now the thread 1 is started again now what is happening thread 1 started and ended right now thread 2 and 4 is end now what is happening thread 2 3 or 4 is started now 4 3 2 1 is end so all has completed their life cycle right see here the all, all output so what what happened till now let me under, let me give you a brief in, in, intro here again i just complete so we have a message is here we have a constructor for the thread what we have did we have implemented the run with a run override the run method and implemented some logic what is the logic we are just printing the name of the method and message we are passing whatever the message you are passing through thread the we are interrupting the thread for two milliseconds and uh, two seconds and now we have uh, whatever the thread is done their life cycle 
just we are, we are to we are to uh, end up the message right so whatever the message you are there that will print now what is happening we have a executor uh, what i said executor is a, a manager just like a manager that is creating the a thread pool how many number of thread will be in the thread pool so if uh, our service provider needs then we can pull thread from the pool so first he he has to go through the service executor only right so we have a for loop runnable worker is there and the what is worker is doing execute the worker okay so runnable we have created a thread we have created and we are passing here right so what is executor is doing just execute the work and when it is done we have to just shut down it right when the system is done their life cycle will completed so this is a very simple program you have to understand